Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys. Yeah, last time was pretty bizarre. <laughs> I say that every time and they manage to top themselves each time. Um, yeah, guys, so we kicked off a whole new arc timeline not it not exactly because we had kind of been introduced a little bit at the very very end of the previous episode but you know pretty much we're starting off on just like a whole new chapter whole new story um and on top of that whole new power power arc everything is new except we got joseph and guess who else we got take a wild guess you guys know um, so yeah, guys, uh, I have a lot to say just kind of about like my, cause usually I film these two at a time and this time I actually could not work that into my schedule and I ended up filming them a little bit apart. So in a way it's good. I've had some time to like process a little bit. The last thing that I watch as opposed to what you usually get is like me two and a half minutes later. Um, you know, while I've gone and grabbed a snack and come back. <laughs> and this time you get what you could probably tell from my new do and everything. It's been like a couple days. Um, so yeah, so uh, now I've kind of been able to like digest it a little bit. And um, I would like to just briefly touch upon what we saw last time before I get into the next episode. But before I do that, I do just want to say if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, guys. So, um, basically we have like a whole new power start, like whole new thing. And I love how they kind of like take you on the journey of like what it's going to be because I know that we're going to have something new as soon as they start introducing you know well for a second I thought maybe Dio was possessing him and I wasn't that far off because Dio took over Jonathan's freaking body which I just can't tell you how what a punch in the gut that is that like the only redeeming quality about Jonathan having to die was that like he sacrificed himself and he took Dio with him and it's just like everything with Dio just feels like insult to injury. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me started. I, I have history with Dio, um, as you know, as you've seen. So, um, but yeah, so I like the way that they start us off and they're like, oh, it's an evil spirit. Oh, it's this. Oh, guess what? It's actually just like this whole new system of like the stand, this like almost kind of like energy avatar that certain people have and there's this whole like background mythos with a joe stars now or at least with jonathan i don't know if it's like all the joe stars to be well no because didn't uh i can't remember but yeah let's just say it's like the joe stars um and so now there's this whole thing with like this star kind of connecting them all and i just feel like there's a lot more probably that they want to get into with it and i like this show that they they really do make sure you're kind of like up to speed with the way that things work. Like, I don't feel like they're trying to drop things fast and like, okay, if you missed it, sucks to be you, you know? So I know that they'll probably, um, you know, elaborate on all this a lot more and we'll be able to see it in use and that will help a lot. But yeah, it was like, it was a lot all at once. The whole thing about the stand, the whole thing about Jonathan. Um, of course, you know, we got to meet, I'm dancing around it because I'm still not sure, but we got to meet Jotaro, who is, it looks like going to be the new protagonist. Although so far, like we haven't seen a whole lot of Jotaro. It's very much been, they did a good job of like, it did not feel as um, complete of a stark you know, beginning and ending as the two arcs in season one did. Um, and that's probably because Joseph is still alive and he can segue us a little bit, which is nice. But like, I saw, I'm, I'm going to hold out judgment on, on Jotaro because, you know, to be fair, we haven't seen a whole lot of them. From what I've seen, I'm a little like a surprise. <laughs> and I'm also wondering if it's one of those things where like the translation issue is that like, maybe he's saying, maybe he's like, okay, 
to be fair, maybe he's not saying something that's really equivalently that bad, but the way it gets translated is just that he's calling his mother that name. Um, but that's just got like to have that is like one of the only things that we can go on. Although like we have we have seen um, what's her name Holly the daughter. Um, like in her memories, he looks like a pretty nice kid. So maybe it has something to do with what's going on here. Like maybe it's not a. <laughs> it seemed like maybe by the end it was like an everyday thing. Like he just calls her the p word, and I'm like, I don't. Well, it's just a, it's an interesting thing to put out there about you. And it would be like if the first thing we saw about Joseph was him spying on Lisa Lisa in the tub, which is way more disturbing now. Way more disturbing. But you know what I mean? Like, that's just, like, the first thing I know about him. So, like, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure there's, I'm sure, I'm sure Jotaro's got some, you know, I'm sure there's, uh, he's, he's gonna be our protagonist. So, I'm sure there is good stuff ahead. Um, but my initial reaction is just kind of like, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, this is also coming from the show that, like, put, someone who is a very, very clearly a member of the Nazi party and a very adamant one at that in a role where like he was like a Jojo bro. So like, I feel like if, if any show can pull off kind of like taking a character with some wow stuff going on and still like put in some endearing qualities, it's probably this show. The Str the uh, Stroheim, even like right up to the end, I was like, Okay, um, I guess thanks for the assist, but, like, it was very jarring, so, um, so I don't know, I don't know, guys. It's a very unique way of writing characters, and I, I really am intrigued by it, so, um, all right, I have said a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the episode because, um, I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. So without further ado, let's go on the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh guys, I show show me show me something good. Show me something good. Go save a dog. Go save a dog and when we'll talk. Oh. Oh, I okay. Everyone's digging Jojo. Huh? Oh boy. Okay, girls, don't fight. Oh, wow, okay. This escalated very quickly. And he's and he's walking away. He's walking away. Oh my, it's getting much He's not into it. He's not into it. And they're into it. They're into him not be okay. All right. Oh no. Oh, we're okay. We're painting. Oh, that's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's really good. Oh, dear. Whoa! Oh, no, there's more to it. There's more to it. There's definitely more to it. Good God. So, you can what kind of ability is that? Ow. No, it was cut first. That's why he fell. Yeah. Okay, so we clearly are in on the power stuff. Oh no. Don't tell me you're like uh you're working for Dio. Ladies, can we give Jojo like a foot and a half of space? About that. That wasn't suspicious. Uh Okay. okay, new classmate. <laughs> okay, we're, we're now we're ranking. We're okay. Oh, that would weaken one if you were simply a head. I'm so disgusted. 
Uh, yeah. So, okay, yeah, so he's going to have a stand, too. So we're just, uh, we're not doing Hammond anymore. That's the plan is to get rid of everyone who stands in his way, which will be all the descendants, because Jonathan's body is, like, sending out a beacon to them. Oh, they're both good. Instant coffee and tea are good. Can't we just be nice and have both? I think the connection goes both ways, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not even. Joseph, relax yourself. Oh. Oh, he's like, not the pants, not the pants. He can take. Yeah, oh. Okay. So sick. Huh? Oh, it's the... Yeah, what is that? I, I would be concerned that there was something just... Oh! Ooh! No! What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Is that blood or ink? I honestly cannot tell. This is horrifying. Is she being controlled? Whoa. Uh, oh! No! No! No, I knew that. I knew the way that that pen was switching ink that we were just like, there was no way we were going to not have blood. Oh, dear God. And you're just standing there. Okay. All right. I would be running, but that's just me. So, like, she's still in somewhat of a control. Yeah, no, it's not going to work on him. Whoa. Oh, ow, 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 no. Please stop with the pen. Stop with the pen. Oh, well. We'll deal with that later. Yeah, I think that thing that was crawling up. He can, like, control stuff because. Oh, dear. It's like a, like a marionette thing. Okay, so it's almost kind of like a, so it doesn't have to be a painting. He can control people and things through other things. Oh, he's about to explain it. Hierophant green. I'm assuming Dio. Ah! Oh! Oh! So it's in your. It's in. Okay. Oh, that's that's gross. It's in her throat. That worked. Did not look right at first. Oh. It's, we're real focused on the melon. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that the connection works both ways. What? What's happening? That also design is really, really freaking cool. Oh no. Oh, it's that is pretty creative though. I gotta say the ways in which we're using the stands so far is very, very creative. Oh, ow. Oh. Was actually, okay. Ow. What happens if your stand gets hurt? Does it always hurt you? Or is that just something about the two of them? Noriaki and his, ah, uh, oh, no, she dead. No, she's dead. Oh. What did he do exactly? See. Oh, it hurt her on the way out. Oh, that's he was trying to save her too. You know what? 
menacing. Punk. Okay, he's he's a little bit of a troublemaker. Okay, so that wasn't just a thing. Okay, that was like a thing that actually does happen to him. Well, that's yeah. He's like he's he's a troublemaker, but he's got a good heart. I think maybe it's up to you. Yeah, I think, isn't it funny? The one who's kind of the bad boy is the one who's going to take justice into his own hands. That's also really cool because it takes out the physical element altogether of like, not necessarily a physical strength, but you're now relying on like the creativity of your stand more or less. So we can do, like, but now it's a different color, though. We can do a purple emerald splash. I mean, his his stand almost looks kind of Pillar Man-ish a little bit to me. Maybe it's just because it's supposed to look kind of a, whoa, ho, ho. Oh, it's, here we go with the five fingers. Okay, we're back. Whoa. And that's, that's a lot of punches. That's a lot of punches. I think that the other individual is going to feel that very much. Smash. Smashed him. Okay. Oh, and we're... Oh, wow. Caused some damage. Just, whoa! Okay. We're, bur we're bursting open. Okay. Okay. Gotta show the respect. You know, we have to do that. Aw, she's so cute. Nice. Huh? Should she feel something about... Oh... Uh, well, yeah. No... Be nice. We're just gonna bring person in there. Hmm. She's in on this too. She just loves you. Oh, I, I, I hope that's right. a good boy. Why don't you be nicer like that? Oh, she's so cute. Whoa, what happened? It's because of what? What? Is he being controlled too? What? It's like, oh, it's like a little, oh. Um, wow, guys. All right. So that definitely gave me a little bit more insight into like an actual kind of, I mean, which we had this in the last episode. We had like um, an example of how the stand works, but this time we actually got to see it in battle. We got to see a different stand, um, you know, I'm kind of starting to see like, okay, it is like an energy avatar of sorts of yourself, but there are so many different ways it can work. Like, it seems like Jotaro's is like almost an extension of himself that like goes and fights on his behalf. This one has like the special move and has like a, it has like a possession capability or were they implying that the possession was something different because we also saw that, um, that Noriaki person had like something on their neck and I don't know if maybe they're implying that like he was being possessed by Dio or something different something different altogether which I don't know the answer to yet because I'm still learning what the heck is going on um but yeah I would say really good kind of um furthering our journey into this new world getting to know everyone again I think that last time we had a really cool segue with Joseph kind of being the one to introduce us into this world now we get to see a little bit more of Jotaro and like, while he is kind of hard to take on a lot of levels, he does care where it counts. It's funny how like a lot of the Joestar men that we've seen so far, they have that in their core, but they all have like different personalities. Like Joseph was so wacky and kind of like a um, little cocky. And now we have Jojo, who's just kind of like this somber bad boy punk sort of troublemaker sort. 
but he still kind of like also has that deep down in there there is a gentleman which he has got to be probably the most opposite to Jonathan Joseph I never felt like was opposite to Jonathan he was just kind of like had his own really unique personality but Jojo I could see like because the whole like gentleman thing and rude bad boy thing I feel like are direct clashes and um, I've certainly seen enough clashes, too, with even just the way that, like, Joseph, because um, we know that, like, Joseph was also, like, super, super respectful Granny Erina, like, would not have even dreamed of saying some of the things that Joe trust. Although, to be fair, Granny Erina would not have let him live to tell about it had he talked to her that way. <laughs> Whereas Holly's like, okay, honey boy, she's so sweet and cute. She definitely got a lot of Susie Q. Um, and, like, I get it. She knows it deep down. Like, he's her son. He cares. But, like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It was really jarring for me at first, just, like, his, his attitude. But I am starting to see a little bit more of, like, what makes him tick now. And I'm glad. Like, I, I, can, I, can, I can see I can see where we're going. I can see where we're going. Um, so, yeah, guys. I just feel like we got a lot more about we're getting more world building with both our characters and, um, you know, with the actual power system that we're introducing. So, um Again, I'm, it's probably going to take me a while to put it all together, but I'm having fun getting getting to know everyone and everything. Um, so I'll just look forward to more. And of course, we have just Dio lurking off the edge. You just know that when he comes into the mix, it's just going to be ridiculous and just... It's going to be ridiculous and now biting all at the same time. Because like only Dio could be literally just a silly, goofy head and cause so much trouble and still have you on the edge of your seat. It's like, I should be laughing at this, but somehow <laughs> you are still wreaking havoc, even as a Futurama-style head in a jar. Uh, <laughs> I wish he was still just a head in a jar. I really do. Because it, it really cheeses me off that he took Jonathan's bottle. Like, that, to me, I feel like, I just feel so disrespected personally. <laughs> I don't know why. I just got so attached to the Joe stars really quickly. Um, but all right, guys. So really good episode. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Um, it's definitely bizarre. Definitely had like the the gross factor up in here with, I don't know how they're going to explain that all away that like a school nurse just like randomly killed a, I'm assuming that person, I mean, I don't know, maybe you could, you could probably survive it if it didn't go too deep, but I'm not going to think about it because it's icky. But like, how does that all get explained away again? I guess we're just, uh, we're just don't worry about it. Don't we? We got bigger things to worry about. We got Dio on the loose. So, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Um, great episode. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, oh my goodness, please be sure to join me next time. Do not leave me in the middle of all this madness. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.